Explanation of effects of supervolcano explosions. Defining a supervolcano is not easy. Some volcanologists, such as Eric Clemetti writing for Wired, disparaged the term that only emerged after a 2005 documentary dramatized the impact of an eruption in Yellowstone National Park, which was naturally titled, Supervolcano. Most people consider something a supervolcano if it has the potential to reach the top level of the Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI, 8, and produce more than 1,000 cubic kilometers, 240 cubic miles, of volcanic ash-like material. Further adding to the confusion is the fact that supervolcanoes will not erupt in a devastating way. In general, volcanic eruptions can be classified on an effusive to eruptive scale. So the energy can be relatively low, like volcanoes that form large, gently sloping shield volcanoes like Kilauea in Hawaii. Or the eruption could have greater explosive power. Such as a destructive Plinian-type eruption, named after the Romans, Pliny the Elder and Pliny the Younger, who respectively died and recorded the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. But what if the worst-case scenario occurred? What if a super-large volcano, like the one beneath the Yellowstone caldera in the western United States, erupted suddenly and explosively? The consequences of this event could be dire and would impact humanity worldwide. Although it is difficult to determine the exact time of a volcanic eruption, certain early signs give strong indications that an eruption will occur. The movement of magma towards the surface can produce signs such as bulging ground surfaces, increased levels of gases associated with volcanoes, and strange temperature changes. But perhaps the most dramatic of all the symptoms of a supervolcano eruption is the earthquake that will shift the ground in anticipation of the impending explosion. This earthquake was also not a light earthquake. Increased activity in large magma reservoirs can lead to more frequent and intense earthquakes, especially as all the molten rock moves closer to the surface. As USGS scientist Jacob Lowenstern told Vox, a pending supervolcano in a place like Yellowstone would produce a series of very powerful earthquakes. Such activities don't just worry everyone at the top, either. These vibrations will also break up the soil above the magma chamber, making it easier for buried molten rock and gas to reach the surface.